some of the most popular science fiction films and novels of all time show us a world that's overrun by relentless robots hell-bent on making humanity a thing of the past. Like millions of other people, you've probably seen such films as The Terminator or The Matrix. These movies gave us a future that's filled with nasty scientific inventions that rise up against those who created them. Yes, the robot apocalypse is an ageless trope that's been used again and again as a way to scare audiences, and perhaps warn them of what's to come. In 2017, a coalition of technology leaders came together to write a warning to the United Nations about so-called killer robots and unchecked artificial intelligence. The letter stated that the robots of the future will permit armed conflict to be fought at a scale greater than ever and at timescales faster than humans can comprehend. We do not have long to act, the letter continued. Once this Pandora's box is opened, it will be hard to close. Over 100 leaders in the field signed the letter, one of them being none other than Elon Musk. So it's a bit surprising to see that Elon Musk and his company Tesla just introduced a brand new robot of their own. Dubbed Optimus, this 5'8", 125-pound robot will be able to assist you around the house and make your life easier, or so Musk says. What is it about AI that freaks us out so much? And why has Elon Musk changed his stance on the future of robots? In 1927, German expressionist director Fritz Lang created Metropolis, an iconic film based on a novel of the same name. The film follows a massive city of the future that's divided by classes striving to survive. At the center of the film is a robot that wreaks havoc on those around it, creating pure chaos and costing the lives of many. Metropolis is one of the first instances of killer robots in sci-fi, and the idea has continued to appear since then. Much like the story of Frankenstein, we're always frightened by the idea of something we create becoming hostile and taking on a life of its own. But that's only part of the inherent fear we all share about robots. We're also afraid of the unstoppable nature of artificial intelligence, because we know that these creations are made to be smarter and more efficient than us. And how can we combat that? There is some truth to these fears. We've seen weapons of war become more and more self-sustaining and self-reliant over the years. We've also witnessed artificial intelligence enter our lives at an alarming rate. Google, Facebook, and Apple are just some of the major companies that rely on artificial intelligence. Elon Musk has spoken out about the dangers of robots and AI multiple times now. It wasn't just the time he signed that letter with so many other business leaders. Just one year later, Musk gave his opinion to the documentary Do You Trust This Computer, where he envisioned a future that was decidedly not bright for humanity. Musk said in the doc, if one company or small group of people manages to develop godlike superintelligence, they could take over the world. He continued, AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way. We don't hate ants, we're just building a road. So goodbye anthill. Elon Musk is so afraid of these sci-fi nightmares that he co-founded OpenAI, a nonprofit company that's striving to create safer artificial intelligence. The company was formed back in 2015 when Musk and entrepreneur and investor Sam Altman and others collectively pledged $1 billion to promote friendly AI in ways that benefit humanity as a whole. The idea was one that caught on all over Silicon Valley. In 2019, OpenAI was given another $1 billion with an investment from Microsoft. When OpenAI was founded, Musk publicly said that he was aware of the risks in fighting dangerous AI. Musk said, There's always some risk that in actually trying to advance friendly AI, we may create the thing that we're concerned about. That makes the release of Tesla's Optimus all the more confusing. 
Musk has also tweeted about robots multiple times, commenting on footage from Boston Dynamics and saying how fearful humans should be of them. Boston Dynamics is a cutting-edge company that's created multiple robots that have impressed, but also put a few people on edge. Remember that robot dog named Spot that became a viral sensation back in 2017? That was Boston Dynamics. While there were many who were left in awe by the four-legged invention as it raced around with ease, others thought that it was a curious and creepy sign of the future. But that begs the question, are these the types of robots that will hunt us down in the future? It's not just Musk and fans of sci-fi who are afraid of AI robots. In fact, there's a growing consensus that the rise of robots will greatly impact the world and the employees who run it. Recently, a study by economists declared that robots could take over up to 20 million manufacturing jobs around the world by the year 2030. In fact, this study said that there could be 14 million robots working hard in China alone. Tens of millions of jobs will be lost, especially in poor local economies that rely on low-skilled workers. Because of that, income inequality will only become starker. Between that information and the fear we have of cyborgs, robots, and AI rising up to take us down, you can understand why Musk and others are so fearful of them. So then, why is Musk creating the very thing he warns others about? That was the question that many people were asking when Musk introduced Optimus to the world. He showed off the robot and highlighted its potential, stating how it will have a visual sensor to help it see, and will be able to deftly work at eliminating dangerous, repetitive, boring tasks. Musk says that when you welcome Optimus into your home, you'll be able to tell it pick up that bolt and attach it to a car with that wrench. You'll also be able to command the robot to go to the store and get groceries and do a lot of handiwork around the house. Sounds pretty cool, right? Surely there's no danger there. Still, the announcement left some confused. Why is Musk and Tesla moving into this field? What will Musk do to make sure that this robot won't become the very thing he's warned against? Even Musk couldn't finish the presentation without making a sly joke about robots. He remarked that if push came to shove, humans would be able to defend themselves against Optimus. Hopefully that doesn't ever happen, Musk said, but you never know. There's no definitive release date for Tesla's Optimus, and a lot may change between now and then. It's impossible to deny that the robot is pretty cool, even if it is surprising coming from Elon Musk. There's little doubt that those able to afford Optimus will buy it as soon as they can. In fact, this futuristic invention really could be in millions of homes in the near future. And maybe that's the biggest danger of them all. What are your thoughts on Tesla's new robot? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content.